Welcome to day three of the dongle DAC off. If you don't know what a dongle DAC is, it's a DAC amp. It's on a dongle. It dongles back and forth on your phone, which I'm using the uh, the Doogie S98 Pro. And um, this is the d third day. I've done seven others on the last two days. Go look at those. But today was reserved for the Earman Calabri because it's $333 which is a good number, I like that. Somehow it just makes my OCD happy. And it's twice the price of all the others. Well, 170, 150, 109, 89, 79, 79, 59. And this one has a battery in it. So of these all suck the life out of your phone. This doesn't, this you charge separately and it doesn't. And it you the, the size shows that it has a battery. Um, on top of that, this sounds th fucking amazing. Like, if you waited for day three to find out if the Calabri could beat the rest of them, it pretty much can. Because I'm sitting here listening to, which one is this? This is a Anor, Arn, Anor Dan's Vaughn from Yoko, from Kano Yoko from, I don't know. And I'm like crying a little bit. And it's the same headphones that I've been using for the last two days. It's, well... To you, it's two days. To me, it's I did this 20 minutes ago. Um, it's just higher quality. I, I know I'm an asshole. This is, this is just, you're just an asshole. Yes. Audiophilia is an asshole, too. It's just a big old asshole. We all march right into the middle of it, and it stinks, but man, does it sound good in there. The reason I waited again is because the previous winners... For the last, like, year, in my head, the two Dongle Deck champions have been the DD Hi-Fi TC44B, which we've got its, its, like, new sibling here, and the Ehrman Sparrow. This, no one remembers the Ehrman Sparrow. It came out of nowhere. I had done a couple Dongle Dacks, and I was like, hey, Dongle Dacks, and the Sparrow showed up, and I'm like, wow, this little fucking thing, balanced 2.5 millimeter, this, this thing is fucking great. Like, great. Like, legitimately great. And no one cared about it. And I put it in a bin, and I just, just sat there. So, when Earman was, like, emailing me, and they're like, hey, we have a new thing, and I saw a picture of it, and I'm like, oh, it looks like this. It'll probably be this. It's much bigger. And more expensive. And... It has the controls you want. It has play. Pl I, there's some problems with it. We're going to give the problems out of the way at some point. But it, it can play pause from the unit. Complete action using Zello. What? Play. One second. Is it actually trying to play it? That's weird. It's doing a thing. Let me see if I can undo the thing it's doing. Volume down, volume down, pause, next track, double click. Okay, that worked. That was weird. It was like, what the hell is Zello? We're back on the Truman Show soundtrack. So, unit tour, pause this for a second. The one thing you're going to notice is, you know, dongle dacks I usually pick up by the wire and I they dongle. If I pick this one up by the wire and try to dongle it, it's, it, it well... I think it works so well. This is the only wire it comes with. This fucking thing. It's very heavy. It's very stiff. It's fabric. And I I almost am okay with this. Because then you could leave your phone, which screen goes off. Put this in. It's, it's got a little clip-on case, which we'll talk about this as well. Um, sound quality. Straight up desktop. Good quality desktop amp. Period. The end. Earman doesn't make jack shit, but this and this, and I think they made one more portable, but it's like they are competing wholly with everything that you can buy on the market. Just boom. Problems with the unit. It has four buttons. On the back of the unit, it's labeled power, because you have to turn it on. for If you plug it in, it detects it. It's automatically on using the battery. It's fine. Um, you have a bass boost. The only, none of these have a bass boost. This has a bass boost. It's a very gentle bass boost. And there's no indicator to say it's on. So you have to basically toggle it on and off a few times during a basic part of a song, or you're not going to know. And when you do toggle on, it tends to pop a little bit. 
So I'm like, all right, that's kind of cool. I wish it was an indicator. You So you get your volume up and down here. They're all the exact same button. And the problem is if you're going to feel this thing, unless you know specifically, because there's two, there's a charge and a data USB-C at the bottom, which I, I've taken the liberty of getting a marker out and writing D and then putting a lightning bolt there. Because if you do put this in its little case, several things happen. You have no idea what those charge ports are, which one's data, which one's charge. Then the buttons, the indicators in the back of the unit, those disappear. So if you're new to this unit, you're like, and you can put it in the other way, and all you'd notice is a slight difference in the hole, and the buttons are the same, and the things are the same. So it's like, mm -hmm. I'm probably bringing this to Chicago Can Jam. Because I'm trying to think if I want to take a DAP, like an actual digital audio, like a full DAP, and I don't need to. Bring the Calabri. It's it's fucking perfect. Don't use this cable that came with it. Let's let's look at look at look at the stiffness of this thing. Do you see the stiffness? She sees the stiffness. Put that on the side. Let's get out the DD Hi-Fi crazy fucking autistic audiophile cable because that's what I want. Yeah, I want it to look like I spent the entirety of my mortgage on a. Oh, is that gonna fit? This may not fit. Oh, it fit. It fits. It fits. Is it, is it actually going to work, though? Let me see. Where's my... Just double-checking. No. Well, that may not... Oh, it doesn't go in far enough. God damn it! God damn you expensive cables! Unless it's backwards. Maybe this is backwards. Let's see. That goes in there. This is like a $70 cable or something. Hold on. That has to squeeze over... Give me the most audiophile sound. It ain't gonna do it. Uh, shame. So yeah, uh, DD Hi-Fi makes beautiful cables, but they don't fit. You know what I'm gonna do? Give me the Earman Sparrows cable for the Earman fucking Calabri because I don't need a monstrous cable. Nope, we're red indicator now. Maybe it's backwards. Oh, one of these has earmen and one of them doesn't, so maybe is that what I gotta do? Because uh, OTG cables are fucking annoying. And that they don't always work in every order they need to work. Power off. Power on, in. <sighs> Pause. Yeah, so apparently the Earman logo has to be towards the Earman, and then that is just the blank one. Whatever, that's a stupid thing. Um, this is very sharp. Before I get away from this case, which is a nice case. It's a nice, like, leather case. It hides what the buttons do. They need indicators next to the buttons. It's a nice case. But this, like, clip that goes around, that is literally a fucking scraper. If you put this against in your pants, which which I think I imagine you put in your pants, that will fucking cut you. And you have to just trim that down or stop making that so sharp. Um, other than that, it's nice. And the blocking. So now that we're back to actually playing music, you get your volume... You get your play, pause, next track. You get a bass boost. You get it to sound amazing. Like, it's legitimately like, am I listening to the Burson soloist? Or am I listening to the, to the Earman Calabri? I don't know. I'm blindfolded. I just really, in, I'm just going to cry to the music. What I'm going to do now, so I'm not going to make this video extremely long. This is basically the, the WinRAR. This is coming to Can Jam Chicago because I got to bring the Harmonic Dyne G200s there. Even though they should be the P200s because they're planar, but they're G200s because G-Unit. Um, so I'm going to bring those so I can demo it. And so if I have headphones, this is what's coming with me to Chicago. I'm going to charge it up. I'm probably going to take this phone with a bunch of fucking flack on it. And I'm going to be very, very satisfied with using this to test other. This, by the way, is the most powerful of the group. If you want to count all these other ones as part of the, 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 the test... Um, at 570 milliwatts, I think. Double checking real quick. 
560 milliwatts. So the Moon River 2, which was in the last video, which is 540, this is 20 mil. For all the battery savings, it's only 20 milliwatts more. But imagine how fast this is going to suck your phone dry to get near over half, like a half a watt out of it. That's dumb. Um, so yeah, uh, this is this is this is the win. This is the WinRAR for sound because it has like it has like the warmth that I wanted of like these two or these three, and yet more power and just fucking control. Control is the key here. I'm going to stop the camera again. Take these headphones off because I've, I've now, I've gotten, I would say I've gotten my fill, but I can never get my fill of headphones that I love. Fill me up. Instead, I'm going to switch to this now DD Hi-Fi wired. Zeos will link to the DD Hi-Fi, Hi not sponsoring this video, but they should. Um, this to that. I'm going to lower the fuck out of everything because these are the Dunu Zen Pros with the word Zeos laser printed into it um and this is going to be the ultimate listening to i'm going to go back to all of them and come back and we'll have a number ready and i'll tell you how the noise floor is in every one of them because this is noise floor this is noise floor testing okay these have come out of my head now and i have a comprehensive list of everything that i reviewed and everything else actually so the collaborate actually well, it was sort of like the bar setter at a two. Uh, zero being no noise at all. I can't hear it. There is in my air conditioner running in the background. I was trying to like, if I can't tell if it's the air conditioner or noise, I've made it like a one. But if there was absolutely no noise, basically playing music, I had songs that start with silence and then pausing it and then listening to see if the, the amplifier is on and off. There's a real bad one amongst the group, which, oh, didn't expect it. But the collaborators are two. So you do hear when the, when music is playing, if you hit play, there is a noise floor that can be audible in the most sensitive IMs that I fucking own. You pause it and you hear that noise floor and then it dips away. Barely. Two is like, one is, is like, I can't tell. And two is like, okay, it's there, but I don't care. Calabria still sounds fucking amazing. Um, the Moon River, zero, no noise floor at all. The uh, x to Link 2, this one, zero. No noise floor. The Shanling, one. So it's like, are you making sound? I'm pretty, pretty sure there's something going on. You play, pause, wait, quiet songs. Um, the Fio, five. This fucking thing is noisy as hell. And I'm using the same phone. It's just that there's no power. It's like, this is the worst one. Five is as bad as it got. And it was specifically left channel. And you just hear like, nah, it was bad. Like, worked fine on hard drive headphones. This thing is a beast. If you got super sensitive IMs, avoid the Fio. That's why you keep the, the, the Dunu Zen Pros around, or the Dunu Zens. The DD Hi Fi, um, this little guy, I gave it a one, but only because when the, because what happens is it plays music and it clicks on the amplifiers. And when you stop, it clicks off the amplifiers. That's why you have to play either silence or find songs with silence or play pause a bunch of times to hear it. The only reason I gave this a one is because when I went, after I paused it, I heard it go click. I heard the physical, the clipped off and clipped on, but I never heard a buzz. So it might be annoying if you have super sensitive IMs on that. So I just gave it a one. Um, the Acme, this son of a bitch, still sounds amazing. Uh, gave it a zero. It's zero. No sound. There's no noise floor out of the Acme. Which Acme is what the Roadrunner uh, Coyote used to use, just to know that. And I was figuring the x Link would have some noise floor. I gave it a one. And negligible. Can't quite tell. I also ran the Sparrow through, the old school Sparrow. That's a zero. Um, so it's actually got less noise than the, the big Calabri, but it's way less power. Um, the DD Hi-Fi Triangle is a zero. No noise floor. And I couldn't get the BTR5 to work without stuttering. Like it was running finally, but it was like bad. So I don't usually run the D the uh, BTR5 off a of wire. So that could be just something to do with um, the way it was, it was basically charging the unit while it was going on, probably something along the lines like that. So yeah, that was basically it. That's the roundup. 
There's your wallpaper. Patreon subscribes to support this channel. See reviews early. $10 a month gets you into a private Telegram chat. Where you could ask me questions directly. You got a lifetime uh, swap meet subscription when you're in that. Um, check out Hi-Fi Guides in the forums. Links to all these. Thanks to all the companies who sent all this crap. Check out the yard sale. First of the 10th of every month if you're a patron or subscriber. So a subscriber. I don't need this many. I might keep a select few, but the rest, whoop, yard sale. And uh, you can buy them for whatever I ship for free. Continental the United States and Canada. Half Shipping International. Um, thanks to DD Hi-Fi for sending out their just absurd, absurdly high quality stuff. I think they're $70 a piece, 60 I don't know. They're nice. Um, so yeah, DD Hi-Fi sending me their stuff. Not sponsoring, but sending it. Also, this is a Grove made stand. I just wanted to point that out. This thing is beautiful. It keeps things there. Um, wallpaper in the, in the link. Go to the thing, get all the wallpapers, and that's it. I'm going to see you all uh, in two days, probably skip a day, and we'll continue our normal scheduling, and we'll, we'll move on from there. So, yeah, Donald Dax, some of these, like, some of these, not, nothing to laugh at. Like, let's put the Shanling in there, too. Like, literally none of these were bad. None of them were bad. This one was bad for noise floor, but none of them are bad. And this one's coming to Can Jam with me. And I'll see you in two days. Or a can jam.